Amen. Right. Amen. Praise God. Give, oh. give, give to something. Praise God. As Sister uh, Maggie says, who is our chairperson, give me something bigger and greater than who you are. That's right. And you're going to find out, amen, that um, God will open some doors for you. Yes, that is one. Yes. Uh, yes, I was just thinking, you know, ask the church to support me. There's two things that uh, they have on my heart. Uh, one is blessing the Jews. God said he blessed them. That's the word. He going to bless you. Amen. amen. So, uh, whatever you can give, put it in the missionaries. It's not, I think it's $19 a month that can be sent off to them. And there's well, St. Jude, those kids with cancer. I think that one is $19 uh, a month. So, those are two things that my heart desire to support as a missionary. Amen. It's okay with the past. It's all right with us because Amen. that's what we want to do. What we want to do is that we want to stir up the spirit of mission and missions in the church. Amen. 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 Jesus told us to do what? Go out to all nations making what? Disciples, right? Amen. That's what he said. So 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 the, the church call is the mission call. Amen? Amen. Praise God. The church call is not for us to sit on these nice pews, amen, with our buns on these nice cushions and not do nothing. Amen. 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 It's for us to get up and move and do something. So even when we get to Bowling Green Day, I will thank you, Lord. Next week, Dean Murray, can we do it next Sunday after service? Um, Sir Jesus? Yes. Uh, even next week, you know, Bowling Green Day is going to be on the 15th. And I want everybody who, you know, we did the Sir yeah. Jesus Without Fear. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. We're going to have a refresher course immediately following service next week. Amen? 30 minutes. Somebody say 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah. 30 minutes. We're going to go down the sheet, refresh it, so that when we get to Bowling Green Day, guess what? You'll be ready to ask him what kind of belief do you have. <laughs> Amen? And if you did not get a chance to go through the go through um, uh, Share Jesus uh, um, 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 uh, curriculum, praise God, uh, it's very simple. It's easy. We're not going to go through all the videos and stuff, but we're just going to go through the basic, the basics. Amen? Amen. Amen. To refresh you so that we can do the missions of Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, we want people saved. We want people delivered. We want people what? Set free. Amen. We just don't want to be preaching and ministering to save people. Amen. Amen. We, want, we, want, we need some sinners in the house. The word. Amen. That need to hear the word of God. And, and, and you, praise God, is going to facilitate that. Amen. Through these activities. So, uh, that you know, I'm in a new class, and they ask about how you know what you're doing. They say, look at look at the checkbook. Where's the money going? We want to put money towards missions. Amen. Amen. We want to put finances and resources towards missions. Amen. And that's what we're doing. Praise God. That's why we have the Bowling Green Day. Also, you'll be hearing about. Or is that on the announcement, uh, Deacon Murray, about uh, Family and Friends Day on the fifth? That on one of our slides. You'll hear something when we get to the announcements about reaching out and, and, and inviting people to the house of God. So all these things we're doing, amen, to help somebody else meet Christ like you met. Amen. Don't you want someone else to meet Christ like you met? Amen. amen. Yeah. So we're going we to put systems and things in place to do that intentionally so that God can do, amen, the work in the house of God. Somebody clap your hands shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Our goal. Somebody say amen. amen. God for that. Also remember our regular tithes and offerings at this first the first Sunday of the month. So praise God. Let's go ahead and do our best in our tithes. Let's be faithful and give it. It is October. Amen? Amen. Amen. And in October, praise the Lord, you know, I start talking about twenty two about the next year, right? Sorry. And then next year, you know, we've done this all year, haven't we? Some of us have done this or tried to do this. So, you know, I'm asking you to ask God for twenty three. Let's let's kick it up a notch. Someone say kick right. it up a notch. Kick it up a notch. Kick it up a notch. So let's go ahead and bring that up just a little bit higher. Amen. And do that systematically, systematic increments, amen, in our giving. Amen? amen. And you're going to watch God begin to bless you. Because one thing I hope that you're seeing, if you've done it at least for a couple of years, as your offerings have gone up, your tithing goes up. Amen. amen. Mm -hmm. Somehow, some way, when you give God more in, in offerings, He gives you a raise. Amen. 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 That's the secret. <laughs> God didn't know that was the secret, wasn't it? That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. The more you bless God, the more He'll give you to give. Amen? Yep. And, and that is what's taking us to be able, and that's what allows us, amen, watch this. Y'all like that nice, beautiful parking lot out there? Amen. Let me give God praise for the parking lot. Amen? <laughs> praise God. Now look, we didn't have no fundraising for the parking lot, did we? That's no. right. You know what it was? It was your faithful giving. That's it. Amen. 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 
you got the whole place clean. The carpets are clean. We didn't raise no money to keep the carpets clean. It's your ties. And y'all, we got those windows replaced in the. I want to make sure I say that out. We got the windows replaced back here. Amen. And it's already making a difference. Can't you tell the difference? Amen. We, we didn't have no fundraising for no window, did we? No. We didn't say chicken dinners for windows. Amen. 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 And when we get on these vans next week and go down to Raleigh, I'm not going to be asking you to everybody pitch in $18 to carry and cover the cost of the rental. I'm going to ask you $5 for gas. Praise God. We're not going to ask you about $18 for your seat. Amen. It's your what? Your tithes. And we do it, watch this, if we do it God's way, it makes it a lot easier for us to come and praise God and celebrate without the pastor saying, I need everybody to give. Everybody start looking. How much have I been asking you to give every Sunday? A dollar. Have I not? Mm -hmm. I have. So what I'm trying to understand is that we're trying to get into the mindset of giving and into the mode of giving and watch God on the back end, praise God, amen, do the rest. Y'all driving in new cars, sitting in new houses. Amen. Praise him. Amen. 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 Got, got, got clothes on, praise God. You looking all good, smell all good. Amen. amen. That's because the Lord is blessing us. Amen. 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 Yes, man, is law. You got the laughing spirit on you today, so you might as well laugh it all now. Praise God. Go ahead, God. I ain't gonna preach long today. I didn't want to hear the quiz. Go ahead. Praise Him. Because it's all it's given time, so we need to talk a little bit about giving. Right. Amen. Y'all forgive me. Y'all just don't understand. I hadn't had this spirit come on me in a while. Praise. And when it comes, <laughs> God ready to give them praise. No, praise. Him. Jesus, I just, I forgot. <laughs> All right. We're live. So we have to come out and say it. Hallelujah. Say it. I just want to give thanks to Leah that worked hard. She ran errands for me and yeah. Miko and uh, Rhonda. They really yeah, worked hard. Right. Yes, they Team really work. did. I couldn't have did it by myself, and I just want to say thank you, guys. Amen. Amen. Come on, give God praise and God. Watch this on the mission's team. Amen. Amen. So we're going to get ready to bless God with our giving. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, we don't want to rob God. Amen. Amen. Because the curse will be cursed. But he tells us to bring all the tithes and offerings into the storehouse. Okay. That if you need in my house, save the Lord. Amen. Amen. If you're not a tither, if you're not a giver, I'm asking you to, to pick up and ask God to lead you. Amen. To become one. I like to share with the church. It's not about going back and trying to get it right because you can't pay God back. Right. Some of y'all owe for God $42,058.69. You ain't got it. Amen. You ain't got it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But guess what? I can do something as I move forward. Amen. Amen. So ask God to forgive you, wash you, and do what? Do your forward actions you still have some control of. Amen. Amen. Well, let's, let's be faithful in our giving. Amen. He, he has promised to rebuke the devour for our sakes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And he may say of the Lord of hosts. We're going to say our faith statement. Amen. Lord, Lord this is your tithe. This, this is my offering. Is my Not a debt I owe. But a seed I sow. I give it cheerfully. Bless me abundantly. Let's praise him tremendously. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah another time. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for his grace and mercy. Amen. Amen. So missions, praise God, communion, prayer. What a day already. Amen. 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 We're going to get to the word of God here. Praise God. And I want to share this with you. This is a thought that I want to share with you today. Uh, no fight, no might. Amen. Uh, we're going to go to Samuel chapter, 2 Samuel chapter 6 today. Hallelujah. I got a feeling everything's going to be alright. I got a feeling everything's going to be alright. I got a feeling. Everything's gonna be alright, be alright, be alright, be alright. Somebody say it with me. I got a feeling everything's gonna be alright. I got a feeling everything's gonna be alright. I got a feeling everything's gonna be alright, be alright, be alright. Be all right. Hallelujah. Amen. 
time. chapter 2, verse number 6 today. I'm going to stand and read the word of God. I'll read one verse there. If you have it, say amen. Amen. I believe it's right here. Amen. And it says, and let's read together, and David danced before the Lord with all his might, and David was girded with the linen ephod. And let's read that again. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David was girded with the linen ephod. Somebody say, with all his might. With all his might. Say it again, with all his might. With all his might. I want you to change the word, put you in there, say, with all my might. With all my might. I'm going to praise God. I'm going to praise God. Come on, clap your hands, give God some praise. Hallelujah. You can see in the house of God today. Say, praise the Lord, everybody. We're just going to take your, take your cell device and and, and invite somebody. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Um, uh, uh, praise God to uh, share <clears throat> uh, service today. Go ahead and share it. Praise Him. Amen. And as we share it out, praise God. You can uh, let you do your part in the badness and let God do the rest. Amen. Praise God. We uh, want to um, look at the word of God that David was a praiser. Amen. David, praise God, out of the book of Samuel, chapter 6, Samuel being the only one that set in these offices of prophet, priest, and judge, writes... And Samuel is the bridge, amen, as they transition, he praise God, out of, under the law, under the, the, the kingship or lordship of God, and God established the kingdom of God through his son, eventually through his son David, amen? amen. And he promised that that would be, what kind of kingdom? An everlasting kingdom, amen? And uh, David, praise God, is here at this point in his life, 2 Samuel chapter 6, where uh, he begins to celebrate the ark returning back to uh, Jerusalem. The ark was taken, praise God, in a battle when they uh, neglected to honor the spirit of Christ and made the ark into a relic under thinking that the ark had the power and God didn't have the power. Right. They thought, if I just do, otherwise in 2022 terms, if I just go through the motions, yeah. when I have a heart towards God, God will show up. And they found out that was not the case. Yeah. Yeah. They found out the hard way. Eli, sons died in the battle. Eli hears about his sons dying in the battle. He falls backwards, breaks his neck, because the Bible said he was a heavy man. He was fat. Let me just make it clear. He was a heavy man. He was overweight. He fell back. He broke his neck. And praise God. His, grand, his, his daughter-in-law had a son. They called him Ichabod. Because the spirit of the Lord had departed from Israel. Uh, oh, we don't want to be an Ichabod generation. Can I get an amen? amen. We don't want to be a, a place where God's spirit has departed from us. Amen. David, a man, uh, understands that the ark is here. He wants to bring the ark back, but we found out, and I'll just paraphrase very quickly, a man, David begins to bring the ark back, but when they brought the ark back, they, instead of them bearing the ark on their shoulders, they put it on a new cart. Yeah. Let me tell you something. That was not in God's word. Amen. God's word, the ark was supposed to be bared upon the shoulders of the Levites. Amen. Amen. For them to carry it for where it was supposed to be. 
Amen. God's work is supposed to be a burden. Amen. Amen. I'm going to let that settle in your spirit. God's work is supposed to be a burden yeah. that you carry. Because what happened was, I don't care if it's an old cart or a new cart, a green cart, a shiny cart, have 20s on it, 25s on it, chrome rims, gold rims, praise the Lord. If it's not what God said, that's not what God wants. Yeah. God wants what his word has said. Amen. 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 And when uh, the cart hit a spot in the road mm -hmm. and the ark about fell, Uzzah touched the ark. Right. Lord have mercy. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uzzah died because somebody didn't do God's, God's command. Amen. Who in your life is going to die because you ain't serving God right? Amen. Praise Him because that's what we got to consider. Praise God, because I'm not serving God the way I'm supposed to. Someone who, who does something, watch this, with the right intention, but is against God's law, cost his life. That's right. I believe us, I had the right intention, but it violated the law of God. Amen. Touched the ark. He gets it, he dies. David sees this. David sends it down to Obed. He said, you know what? I done, I done made a breach against God. I got to go back and get this right. Through the process, David brings the ark back, and I'll give you all this background because, hey Amen. I want to, I want to I want to set a stage here for us to understand what David, why, why, and the reason why David had this thing called might when it came to the praising of God, yes. hey Amen. And God had placed a thought <coughs> in my mind today, hey Amen. Where there is no fight, there is no might. Amen. David had to fight, church. David had to fight from his beginning. Praise the Lord. Amen. David, when he first showed up, praise the Lord, he had to understand, praise God, that there are some battles and fights we have to do, amen, to make it, praise God, in the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Bible says we wrestle not against what, church? Flesh and blood. Y'all can talk back to me, praise God, in here today. Wrestle, we wrestle not against what? Flesh and blood. Amen. So it tells, amen, that we got to fight what? The good fight of faith. Amen. So look at somebody say you you got to be in the fight. You got to be you got to be in the fight. You got to be in the fight. You got to be in the fight somehow some way you got to be in the fight. Praise God it means to the battle. Amen. It means to make war, it means to struggle. But David had to fight from the beginning. Amen. David's first fight, praise God. Amen. That David had to fight for being overlooked. Anybody ever fought had to fight for being overlooked in your life? Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all have to hear me today. Praise God. Even when David, amen, when Saul saw when Samuel came to anoint David, yeah. amen, uh, his, his father Jesse overlooked David yeah. and said, David is not, must not be the one. But how do you know that the anointing knows how to find you, amen, when God wants to do something in your life? Somebody say amen today. Yeah. Amen. David was fighting a fight. He didn't even know he was fighting. Because somebody was overlooking him, amen, praise God, for the position that God had promised him. I'm here to let you know today, praise God, that some of us had to fight this fight. Yeah. We had to fight the fight, praise God, when, amen, when I, when, when I got hired, amen, and got the job, amen, in 2019, uh, praise God, the other person got hired and got the job in 2020, amen, and in 2022, they got the promotion and I did not. Somebody hear me today, don't you? Because I had to fight with myself. Amen. Because I had to understand why was I overlooked? I'm here to let you know today, amen, the anointing knows how to find you even when man tries to overlook you. Somebody need to clap your hands right there and give God some praise. All right, y'all need to clap your hands and give God some praise. Y'all need to get over there and get over there today. Hallelujah. Is that been overlooked today? Amen, we've been overlooked, praise God. So David had to fight. He had to fight. He had, he had a struggle. Amen, amen, because the Bible says when he showed up, he was a runny little fellow. Everybody was looking at him and said, he must not be the one. Amen, somebody has already said it in my heart, you ain't the one, and but God has anointed you for that position. Amen. Hallelujah, praise God. You had to fight your way all the way up through here. Amen, amen. David goes on down through here, and David was sent out, praise God, amen, to give his brother some food, amen. And David was sent out, praise God, when, when the Philistines were fighting, amen, Israel. And David goes on down there, and he finds out that Goliath, amen, has been talking some junk. How do you know the devil likes to talk a whole lot of junk? Amen. How do you know the devil likes to say a whole lot of stuff? Amen. Praise God. 
praise God. And what happens is that David heard what Goliath was saying. Amen. Who is this that defies the armies of the living God? Amen. And David, praise God, had to go down and fight a fight that was not even his fight. Praise God. It was Saul's fight. It was the, amen, the soldier's fight. But David declared, amen, in his heart and in his word, praise God, he lets them know, amen, that, praise God, that, 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 that thy servant, amen, has killed a lion and killed a bear and his uncircumcised Philistine is going to fall like they did, praise God. David, amen, sometimes church, I say sometimes church, we got to fight a fight that's not even ours. It's not even my fight. It belongs to somebody else, but I am the person yeah. of the hour to bring victory to the whole camp. Hallelujah. I'm the person that brings victory to the whole house. I'm the person that brings victory, amen, to the whole ministry. I'm the one that brings victory, amen, and God, amen, it has anointed you. Hallelujah. Everybody glad about the anointing today? God has anointed you to fight, hallelujah, when the fight wasn't even yours. Yeah. Lord have mercy. I'm talking about no fight, no might. Amen. No fight, no, no fight, no fight. David had to what? Struggle. Yeah, Some of us are in struggles today. Some of us are fighting our own mindsets. We're fighting, praise God, our own families. We're fighting, amen, hallelujah, amen, the struggle. That brings to the next one. David had, had to fight for his family, amen. They show up at Ziklag, praise God, amen. When they get to Ziklag, praise the Lord, amen. And enemy comes in and takes everything that they have. Amen. And he takes his children and his wives. Praise God. David girds on the linen ephod and he goes and inquires of the Lord and, and he asks God. Amen. And he's in Samuel chapter 30 and verse 8. He says, shall I pursue? Amen. This troop shall I overtake it? And God answered David, pursue for thou shalt only take it them and recover without fail. Recover all. And the Bible says in the 18th verse, David recovered all and the amount Malachites and David carried away and death. David had to rescue his own family. I'm here to let you know, church, uh, that sometimes in our lives, uh, we got to fight for our families. Uh, sometimes the enemy comes in and snatches them in drugs. Uh, he snatches them, praise God, in illicit sex. Uh, he snatches them, praise God, for getting caught up in the wrong mindset, in the wrong ideology. Amen. He comes and grabs them and allows them to be uh, 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 encapsulated, amen, with the wrong things. Uh, but how do you know? Praise God. We have to learn how to fight for our families. How do we fight for our families? Praise God. Amen. Praise God. We get down on our knees. Huh? Hallelujah. We begin to cry out unto the Lord and we ask God. We inquire of the Lord for ourselves uh, and God will give us a word and then he'll give us action to bring victory into our lives. Huh? I need to hear somebody say this day, I'm, I'm going to fight for my family. Come on. I'm going to fight for my family, praise God, because I'm not, I am going to fight to the, to the day that I die, that I'm going to do what I can to make sure, amen, that I per, uh, uh, declare the message of Christ to my family. I got to fight for my family, church. Don't let your family stay out there and die. Amen. Amen. Praise him. We got to fight. David had to fight for his family. The men were going to kill David. His old man said, hey, and David not only fought for his family, he fought for all those other families too. Yeah, man. David had to fight. I said, David had to fight. Yeah. All this is fueling David. All this is pumping David. All this is, is in David. All this, amen, praise God, is being David is exorbitant in all this. And, and nowhere do we hear David complain. Nope. Nowhere do we hear David. David said, oh, Lord, why me? Amen. Let me take my glasses off so I really can't see y'all. <laughs> Nowhere did David say, Lord, let it be somebody else. Right, amen. David went after God the best way he knew how. Amen. Amen. It just so happened every time he go after God, the devil show up. Yeah. And fight, and he had a struggle on his hands. Amen. But he understood something. He understood that him and God was still the majority. I need somebody here to understand that you and God are still the majority in here. I need to understand, praise God, that, 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 that I know the fight, praise God, has got you, amen, in a fix, amen, and weary, amen, praise God, and striving. But I'm here to let you know a fight is going to do something for you in your life. Uh, amen. When David became 
king, praise God. Amen. He did not just walk into Jerusalem and take the kingdom. Amen. Saul's family, amen, praise God, was fighting against David, though God had ordained it already in his life. The Bible says in 2 Samuel chapter 3 that there was a war between the house of Saul and the house of David, but David, praise God, waxed stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. David, praise God, had to fight, amen, hallelujah, for something that already belonged to him. Sometimes, church, you got to fight for something that already belongs to me. We got to fight. We got to fight. We got to fight. Praise God. We got to fight and press, amen, and push and make, hallelujah, this become important in my life, church. Amen. We got to understand that God will position us in some places, amen, that, that make us feel extremely uncomfortable. Praise God. But, amen, we understand though we're feeling physically and emotionally and mentally uncomfortable, my spirit is resting in the arms of Jesus Christ. He's trying to get us to understand, amen, we got to stop looking at all of the outward influences and focus in on the inward man. Paul said, praise God, when we pray in tongues, praise God, it edifies Ourself. Uh, I'm here to let you know today that the Holy Ghost is still the secret weapon to the kingdom of God. Uh, the Holy Ghost, praise God, knows how, how to go through the first heaven, through the second heaven, and get to the, the throne of God. It says, praise God, we can pray and we'll make old mutters and moans and others that cannot even be uttered. And God gets the communication that, Lord, I need your help. Uh, Lord, I need you to show up. Lord, I need you to be on time. And God, hallelujah, has a tendency to send Michael down and check out your, your situation. Michael is the war angel. Michael comes to help us fight our battles. Michael comes, hallelujah, to show up and show out. It's not for us to command Michael, but it's for us to call on the name of the Lord and God knows how to send help in the time of trouble. The Bible says that he is a very present help in the time of trouble. If you believe that, come on, clap your hands and tell God, thank you for showing up on time. you know, hallelujah, the old man says, he may not come when you want him, but he's always right on time. Hallelujah. God is trying to help the church today to let us understand, hallelujah, that, that this, these things fuel the might of God in my life. The fight fuels the might. The fight fuels, amen. It is not meant to destroy you. It's not meant to take you out. It's not meant, praise God, being overlooked to make you feel less than yourself. Amen. It's not meant for the fight that's not yours. It's not meant when you have to fight for your family that you to be drained. It's supposed to be fuel for you to praise God with all your might. God is trying to let the church know it's time for you to change your perspective and not think that everything I'm going through is for my destruction, but it's for me to infuse me with the fuel to give God the praise and death to help me be driven to fight in the inner man so that when I get the right opportunity, I can bless the Lord. At all times, I bet his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I want you to go down every lane and think about everything you had to fight with. They give God the best praise you got. Hallelujah. I want to show you something. This word might 
Praise God comes from a Hebrew word that means the ooze. Uh -oh. That means the ooze. That means the power of God. Everything that the enemy's trying to put on me as the fight is going to ooze out of me in my mind. Oh, somebody got to hear me. I I wish I could preach it like y'all like I feel it. David stands before the Lord. Amen. And everything, all those presses, all those trials, yes. all those disappointments, huh? yeah. all of a sudden yeah. hit him and he begin to ooze out of him. Huh? And all he could do huh, was bless the Lord. Huh? All he could do huh, was dance before the king. Huh? All he could do huh, was celebrate God. Huh? And I'm here to let you know today huh, that all the fight is going to do for you is that if you can understand that it adds fuel to your praise. Huh? It's going to cause you to become uh, the praiser of God that God is pleased with. Hallelujah. Somebody can praise God to the Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to praise you now and praise God. Until, amen, I, I understand, amen, that every struggle, amen, every trial, every test, amen, ain't nothing but fueling my praise. Hallelujah. 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 Because Hallelujah. might means strength. Amen. You. Your fight is what's giving you the strength to go on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Didn't know that, did you? They take the vine and some guys are growing some rope and they took the plant and make the rope out of and it grows way up high in the mountain. Hey Amen. They got to go way up the mountain. Praise God to get the plant and to get the fiber on the plant. It makes very strong rope. They said, why would we just take that plant and grow it on the plane where it's nice and smooth? They did that and they found out the rope had no strength. Amen. Because the plant didn't have no fight. Somebody say, no fight. No fight. No strength. No strength. Ooh, praise him. No fight, no strength. No fight, no strength. It's in the fight that you get your strength. Lord, have mercy. The fight was never designed to destroy you. The fight was only designed to strengthen you. Oh, somebody need to hear me today. We look at that the wrong way. We think the fight, we want to get out of the fight, and God is steadily strengthening you. Hey, Kosia, God is steadily strengthening you. God is steadily encouraging you. God is steadily empowering you. That's why, friend, God, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God. I said they're mighty through God. Let me say that again. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty. Got to lose out of me. Mighty through God. Somebody need to hear me today. I said, somebody need to hear me today. Why y'all need to be like, like, you ain't never been to nothing. Not if I ever had a fight in up in here. If I had a struggle up in here. If I ever had a pressure weight up in here. So if you ever press your way and had a fight, you better learn how to pick them up. Put them down. Hallelujah. No fight. No fight. I can fight. Say no fight. 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 No fight.
everything you had to persevere through. Everything that came your way that was not your fault. God is saying today that fight is the due for your praise. Open up your mouth and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, open up your mouth and give God some praise. Come on, come on, open up your mouth and give God some praise. Come on, open up your mouth and give God some praise. Open up your mouth and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Let me turn down. Hallelujah.
The, the brother read it this morning when the day of Pentecost came. There came a sound as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the house. That's what it says, right? Yeah. And when it filled the house, the Bible says they began to speak in other tongues yeah. as the Spirit of God came to others. They spoke, they spoke in tongues so that they could not be contained in the house. And they got in the street. And they got in the street. And then they said, these men must be full of new wine. They had to be making some noise for them to say that. Peter gets up and says, these men ain't, ain't, ain't drunk as you think they drunk. They're not, they not drunk on what you think they drunk on. Right. <laughs> they've been, as one of my deacons would say, they've been sipping on that lamb's blood. That's, that's old, that's old, 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 old school. That's real old school. They've been sipping, and some of y'all sipped on that lamb's blood today. Mm. Yeah. Praise yeah. him. Sipping on that lamb's blood. Praise yeah. God. Amen. We have to understand, church. Amen. That the Lord is speaking to us. Yeah. Not to destroy us, but to give us fuel to give God praise. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. praise is our weapon. Yeah. Praise is our weapon. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. 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 Is my fuel Hallelujah. to give God the praise. The Lord. David didn't have to stop fighting the church. Because when David got from dancing before God, Michael saw him. Said, has the king acted so vile in front of all the people? See, Michael was put in his life to control David. See, somebody don't think about that. Michael was given to David by Saul. Saul wanted to put somebody in his life to keep a handle. Oh, it's awfully quiet up here today. Amen. He placed her there so that he always had insight of what's going on. Pillow talk. Oh, Jesus. Uh oh. Amen. Amen. And David realized that. And that's why he answered the way he did. Though Saul was gone, Michael was still trying to operate in that controlling mechanism. She said, have you acted so un 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 unsightly before the people? And David had to let her know, I can do this and do more. Because he understood his fight. Amen. He understood his struggle. And the Bible says, because let me tell you something. I'm going to say it. Now I'm thinking about it. And the Lord let me think about it. I'm going to say it. Amen. When you try to control somebody, that's at the spirit of witchcraft. Come on now. Amen. When you try to put your stuff on something. I'm not talking about having taken care of children. Because God told us to raise up children, right? right? I'm talking about people who are at my level. Brother, sister, wife, husband, and they trying to control me. Come on. Come on. It's at the spirit of witchcraft. Yeah. And we have saints working with witchcraft in the pews. In their households. Yeah. 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 Trying to control your spouse. Trying to control people. Yeah. Praise him. I said praise him. I ain't scared to say it. Because I know it's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. And David had to let Michael know. I'm going to serve the Lord. And give God the praise. Because I understand my struggle. Amen. If you get with me. Or get out the way. Amen. Uh oh. Get with me or get out the way. Amen. Don't mean you don't love your husband. Don't mean you don't love your wife. Don't mean that you don't try to work it out. But what I mean is, is that the word of God is echoing in my spirit. Save yourself from this untoward generation. Praise Him. You would think that she would be glad He's praising God. You would think that she would be glad He's worshiping the Lord. Man. She was not glad. You know why she wasn't glad? Because she wasn't saved. Yeah. Uh, uh, she didn't have the spirit of Christ. So she couldn't understand what was going on. This reminds me of something else. Sometimes God saves us and don't save our spouse. And they don't understand what's, what's going on with you. 
Because the Bible says the natural man cannot interpret the things of the spirit. Don't mean you cut them off. Don't mean you get upset with them. You have to explain to him, this is the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous. And I like, and you have to remind them, the only thing that can come out of praising God has to be good. I've never heard anybody praise God and it be bad for their situation. Have y'all heard anybody praise God and be bad for their situation? Only time when you praise God, always something else always turns out what? For my good. That, that, that right there lets you know that they're not saved. How you know they're not saved? Because they're not, they're not thinking good stuff towards you. But guess what? I'm here to let you know God can save them. Amen. Amen. You keep loving them. You keep working with them. You keep caring for them. You keep, yes. you keep striving to do what you need to do. Yes. It still takes two to work it out. Yes. It still takes two to work it out. But guess what? You got to fight and you got some might today. Yes. Amen. And God is here this morning on this first day of October, first Sunday of October, to help us understand. I told you last time I was here two weeks ago, uh, it's Ch change has come. Mm -hmm. That's what I preached, right? I preached about yeah. like two, two weeks ago, right? Change has come. She preached last week, you better stay connected. That's right. Amen. Amen. Might be something wrong with your plug. Amen. No, I said, Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Help us, Lord. Amen. Something wrong, you can't get in the outlet. You know, if you don't plug it in right, it won't go in the outlet. If it's backwards, oh, we, can work, we can work with that. But what I'm trying to get us to understand is everything that God has been saying is, is he, he's done connected it. And everything he's been saying here this last season is all for us to make a change and see things the way God sees things. Amen. 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 Time to change. Let's stay connected. Amen. Praise God. We've been teaching on the love of God. God is pushing us and moving. We, we, we're, we're praying in the church. Amen. Prayer has to be a foundational, praise God. We, 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 we're we going to build on that foundation. So that means, you know what that means? That means something's down, coming down the line. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That means something's coming Amen. down the line Amen. that the Lord is preparing the church for. Amen. That's, what I, that's what I want you to understand. I ain't no prophet like the prophet over here, but I will. I do, I've lived long enough to know how God works. Amen. And God always prepares us for what's the next in our lives. Right. Amen? Amen. So I mean, something's coming. Something's coming. That if you are not rooted and grounded in the word of God, you might get washed away. away. Amen. And that's the word of love. Hey, that's why it's so quiet here today. Amen. Because somebody needs to hear what God is, what the Spirit is speaking expressly Amen. to the church. It is time out. I watched those boats break from their moorings during that hurricane. You know, the moorings what they tie the boat down to, right? But what you gonna do when the mooring breaks? Amen. The boat was tied, but the thing it was tied to was broke off. Amen. The foundation was destroyed. I said, Lord, have mercy. And there's something that's coming down. I hear God. There's something that's going to come down the line that's going to shape the very foundation of the church. Not this church, per se, but the church in general. And if you're not rooted and grounded in the word of God, you're going to be swept away with the waves mm. of the situation. Amen. So what God is saying is, increase your prayer life. Amen. Increase your Bible study. Yeah. Increase your church being engaged in church and church activities. Yeah. Do all the things that got you where you were that you kind of backed up from. Amen. Come on. Amen. And if you stay connected, when the storm shows up, you'll see Jesus Amen. walking across the sea. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 With a word, one word. Y'all know what word I want to say, don't you? Peace. Be still. Be still. 
God is speaking to the church today. Amen. So we got to have a fight in us to keep pressing towards the mark. If I'm in trouble and someone's after me and you over there, I'm not going to say, help me. I'm going to yell at the top of my lungs to get your attention. Amen. Like, help me, I'm over here. I need help. I'm over here, I'm over here. Amen. Trying to help. I think God's trying to help us. I'm done. I think God's trying to help. Thank you, Lord. Come on, clap your hands. Hallelujah. No fight, no might. Amen. No fight, no might, church. Amen. We don't know what 2023 is coming, but guess what? Something's coming. Amen. It's coming. If you're not rooted, that's the where I just hear the words in my spirit right now. I, I ain't thinking, I ain't thought, but all I hear is say rooted and grounded. I hear root and ground. Ground and root, root and ground. That's all I hear in my spirit right now. Root and ground. Be rooted and grounded in God. Amen. That's all I hear in my spirit. That's all I got is what I hear. Amen. And everything we've been hearing says that it's time to get rooted and grounded. Amen. Amen. Someone may not know Christ. Say, what does this have to do with Christ? What it has to do with Christ is the Lord, uh, the writer says in, in the New Testament, rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. The New Testament is wrapped in the blood of Christ. And as we speak about Christ today, some of us don't have the Holy Ghost like we should have it. Amen. Amen. You may trick me, but you can't trick God. Amen. Amen. You know, see, the Holy Ghost will bear witness of itself to you. And you can come to church, yeah. be online. Raise your hands, shout and dance with no power. That's right, amen. And when God demands power for a transformation in your life, you won't have none, and it won't take place. Amen. And the next great event that we're waiting on is what? The rapture. And in order for you to make the rapture, you gotta have some power. Amen. The same spirit. That raised Christ Jesus from the dead to also what? Quicken this mortal body. But if you ain't got no power, ain't no quickening going on because you're not connected to him. You have been playing the fool. Because the only fool is you. Because God ain't playing. Praise the Lord. And God wants you to make sure that you have it like the Bible says. Amen. He says, repent of your sins. Yeah. Is that what he says? Yeah. And be what? Baptized. For what? The remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The empowerment of God. And that's the power of God. And he said, I'll speak through you. I will become a well of living water. Springing up the life everlasting. John chapter 7 verse 38. He that believeth on me as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow a river of living water. Amen. This he spake of the Spirit of God because the Holy Ghost was not yet given. Amen. And the other Wednesday night, we had prayer service, didn't yes. church? Yes. And the Holy Ghost showed up, didn't it? Yes. And God is, is, is bringing us back to those places where he wants the power of God to show up in the lives of God's people. So, he's here today for your baptism, and he's here today to give you the Holy Ghost if you didn't have it, and he's here today to stir up the gift that's down on the inside. Because once the rapture takes place, yeah. it's too late. Amen. We used to sing a song, heaven doors are going to be closed. Heaven doors are going to be closed. Heaven doors are going to be closed. I don't want to be on the outside when the door closes. Amen. Because once the door's closed, guess what? That's it. Amen. Make your calling and election for sure. So this first call I'm making, praise God, is for him. I think if you want to be baptized, you're online, you haven't been baptized, reach out to us, put a drop, comment, 
We'll get to you. Go to the website, put an email in there. One of our offers will give you, reach out to you. We'll get you baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. And then the Bible says God has the Holy Ghost for you. Amen? Amen. And the Holy Ghost comes making some noise. I said, I'm scared if people got the Holy Ghost quiet. <laughs> scared. Because that's not what the Bible says. Right. How you gonna have the Holy Ghost? You just I got it. Really? That don't sound like the Bible to me. Make a joyful noise. Thank you, Dave. Open up your mouth and bless the Lord. And don't you dare go home in 20 minutes and yell at that TV loud if you love the church. Because <laughs> so somebody with a number on his back runs down the field that you don't know of gets paid millions of dollars and you and they ain't gave you a cent. Amen. Amen. And you holler and scream and you sit up in church like a bum. The devil is a lie. He Amen. devil got you already got you. Amen. Amen. The devil already got you. Praise him. I'm trying to help somebody. No fight. No might. No might. No got to fight. So you got to fight today, church. Who desires prayer today? Somebody needs somebody needs prayer today. Say, Lord, I just need a little help today. Altars and altar workers. If you desire, God is leading you. Say, you know what? I just need a little help today. Come on up and let me touch the grief with him today. Can we come on up and touch the grief with him today? Lord, I need a little help.
Hallelujah. Let's church shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know it might go a little something different, but we need something different from God, don't we, church? Hallelujah. So we need something new and fresh from the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. We're going to sing a little bit of song. We get ready to go. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory in Heir of salvation, purchased of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Everybody say, This is my story. 285. This is my song. 25 in our red book. Praising my Savior all day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all day long. Listen to these lyrics. Verse 2. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture now burst on my side. Everybody say, Amen.
And that's what I, I hope that the Lord is pleased with us today. We've been able to follow his lead. But I believe this is going to be taking us in a few different directions than just normal church. Amen. Amen. You know, church just can't be normal. It just can't be church. Just we have church. We have church that has impact. Amen. 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 And I want God to impact us when we come down. So God bless you. God keep you. We thank God for those who are with us online. Please reach out. Amen. If you need something from the Lord, don't hesitate to reach out. You can go to our website and send an email. And Lady Brown gets those. I think she's the admin and checks those and she can get those. But the most important thing to understand. No fight, no fight, no fight. No fight. No, you won't have no juice to give God the praise. But your Amen. fight gives you the juice. Amen. Amen. Give God the praise. God bless you as our prayer. Come on, clap your hands, give God the praise.